year we will be a new and better version of me CZ Fit 2.0 You are now balancing on my monitor and I swear to god my camera will fall in like two seconds time so I'm just gonna like really slowly try to sit myself down. Actually you won't be able to see me if I sit down. I'm gonna kneel a little bit higher. I'm just gonna kind of levitate here. <laughs> um, welcome back to my channel guys. Welcome to episode 5 of my leveling up prep series 2021. I hope you guys are all doing well and I hope you guys have had a lovely week. So today is April the 12th and if you guys live in the UK you know that today is a very very special day because we finally have our first set of restrictions being lifted the gyms are opening thank the lord like it's about time outdoor dining is opening so the future looks brighter Fingers crossed, hopefully I didn't jinx that. So today I will bring you guys along to my first gym session back. I am so, so, so excited to get back to gym box. I, I have missed that gym so much. I have, yeah, I can't wait to get back and just scream my ass off in a commercial gym. I'm sure the members will love it. <laughs> and then I will also be going to Chikama's. I'm actually not sure how you pronounce it. It's a Peruvian seafood restaurant in Chelsea with my friend Amir. So he's booked it ages ago. And like just by chance, I was given an off-plan meal last Friday by my coach because my weight is in a good place right now. We are like 15, 16 weeks out. I have around like eight, nine kgs to lose. Um, he did say that he thinks I have put on like a good decent amount of like one to 1.5 kgs of muscle or like lean tissue. Um, so we don't have like 10 kgs to go, which is what I thought because my last stage weight was around 46 point two to 46.6 and right now I well today I measured in at 55.8 so yeah things are looking like they're going in a good direction cardio is only eight minutes of hip post workout so 30 seconds on 30 seconds off on the spin bike um which low-key is enough for me like I don't want any more <laughs> it like burns your quads especially after leg day like Oh man, steps are only, well not only, but they're at 15 to 15.5k. So I've just been making sure to get in like a good morning walk and then the rest of my steps I usually just hit like during the day, like an evening walk and around the house. That is a quick prep update. I've just done my check-in today as well because it is a Monday. I'm just about to go and grab some steps now, grab a coffee from my favorite prep. It's so good to be back in London, guys. I am so basic. I can't believe like this is what makes my morning, but I really do enjoy seeing my like barista and I think once it becomes a routine, I'm such a creature of habit that I'm like, I have to go to my prayer every morning. It's not even about the coffee, it's about the routine here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna grab my coffee, go for a quick walk. My hips, actually, I saw my physio yesterday and basically I have a very weak right hip. Um, so that is what's been kind of causing me a lot of pain in terms of like not being able to leg press very much, like not being able to go deep whatsoever because it just pinches. Can't really RDL like I have been, but I, it just, it's triggered it again, so I need to take those out. Seated leg, leg curls, they hurt as well, or hamstring curls. So he has given me some mobility strengthening exercises for my hips. So I will be doing those like three to four times a week. I really need to make sure I do them because he gave them to me last time I had this issue, which was like a year ago. Um, and because they're boring, <laughs> I don't do them and they're so hard to do. But I do need to make sure that I do get those in because hopefully it will help me with my hips and hopefully I can then RDL and leg press without pain which would be amazing. So back and I am back from Pret with my coffee. They didn't give it to me in a mug I just put it in a mug if you were wondering <laughs> which you probably weren't because it's pretty logical that 
they wouldn't give it to you in a mug. I am going off on a tangent. Anyways, I've also just gotten a delivery. I think it's from HD Muscle, but I thought let's just do the unpacking together because it's fun. Like, I don't know, I like watching people unpack things. It's like, it's like Christmas, but uh, in March. It's April, in April. In April. So let me spin you around and let's see what we have in our delivery. You're currently on my cream of rice bucket. Is that what you call it? Tub? So I'm just trying to not to like drop my camera and completely kill it. Here we go. Okay, cool. And now if I stand far away enough, you might actually see my box. <laughs> Let me put you lower down. Let us cut into this. Oh, yes. Especially to get back to the gym, so like this is perfect timing. So here we have one of my favorite pre-workouts, pre-HD Elite, so pink lemonade. Oh, I love this flavor so, so much. And then we have the pre-workout Rocket Pop. I've actually never tried this flavor before because every time I want to try it, it's out of stock. So this is exciting. Um, I'm actually not sure what Rocket Pop is supposed to taste like. Is that supposed to be sour or... I think it's based off of like a um, ice block or something. Maybe it's an American ice block that I just don't know of. But yeah, I think I'll go with this actually today. This should be nice. And it has caffeine, so... Yeah, that is exciting. If you guys didn't know, HD Muscle has two lines of pre-workout. One that's stim, which means it has caffeine, and one that's non-stim, which means there's no caffeine. So if you guys do say like train at night and you want that like pump and the kind of mental focus from a pre-workout, um, but you don't want the caffeine, definitely go for the pre-HD Elite. So that's this one I have here. So essentially it just doesn't have caffeine, but it has everything else to enhance your performance and really help you get through your workout. Whereas the Ultra, it does have caffeine so I usually won't take this if I'm training in the evening which never happens I don't train in the evenings so I usually have this pretty much all the time after my coffee so that I have like way too much caffeine in me and on those days where I don't need more caffeine I will have the non-stim um, and then we have Oh, I'm so clumsy. Thank God these are not in glass tubs. Um, then I also just have some EAAs to top up. I really have like four stacks of EAAs that haven't been opened, but the more the merrier. And this is again in raspberry lemonade just because that is my favorite flavor. The watermelon is also very good, but I just love anything that's more like tangy and sour. So yeah, I'm gonna have these for my workout today. And I'm gonna go ahead now and make my pre-workout oats. I'm so excited for the gym. Way too much. Just an inherent pig, honestly. <laughs> freaking best peanut butter <laughs> okay so all changed and ready for the gym actually it's very cold outside so i'm gonna put on some pants and a sweater uh because your girl is not stupid she's not walking out in this <laughs> also can we just note the like i look like a marshmallow but you know gotta dress appropriately for the first day back <laughs> better
right guys, so we have finally made it to, how do you say it, Chikama? Chikama. Okay, I can't pronounce <laughs> things as you guys know. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Yo, what's up? And honestly, this food is freaking delicious. Like, best off-plan meal ever. It's actually finally not just like pizza and cookies. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to enjoy our meal. See you later! Okay guys, so we have the sweet potato tart there, and then we have, what is that called again? Banana yuzu. Banana yuzu ice cream. Ice cream. Looks insane. Oh my god. Hey guys, so, back and it is Tuesday now. I don't know why I put a two for Tuesday, but it makes sense, the second day of the week. It is Tuesday now, and oh my god, that offline meal was so, so, so delicious. Honestly, that was the first time where, like, I pretty much just stopped when I was pretty full. I didn't eat to the point where I was just disgustingly full. To be fair, I hate wasting food. Like, that is my biggest pet peeve. I think I was just brought up in a household where my parents would just be like, do not even leave one grain of rice on the plate because, like, you have no idea how hard someone has worked to get that onto your plate. Um, but, like, because I am on prep and I'm not going to, like, mess up my prep by just going crazy on off plan like i'm going to be sensible i'm going to enjoy the foods but just be mindful of my body and like you know just pretty much be more aware of how much i'm eating so i was like cool like i'm full now i've had more than enough um had dessert and everything and i was like cool i am done so i felt pretty good then pretty much just came back quite late last night went to see alia which was super lovely um, and then was quite hungry so just had like my normal post-workout meal as well because usually with off plans it's just like i'll take out my last two meals but still have my post-workout meal um and it is like one of my favorite meals so i had my bagel with like pb um and then just had cereal with a protein shake um and then just had some like chocolate on the side that was the off plan done and today i am back on track did my upper body workout this morning finished cardio did most of my steps I'm on 10k now so I got 5.5 left to go so I'm just gonna make my post workout meal now and honestly I love just like being on my meal plan like I enjoyed my off plan oh my gosh my arm's so sore um, I enjoyed my off plan so much but it is really nice just kind of getting back on track and just following a plan again um, that's I guess why I also really love prep because there's just so much structure um, so yeah I've just been basically working I had a call um, from like 9 till now and it's almost 12 p.m. So gonna go actually have my post-workout meal now a little late But it is what it is when you're stuck on calls and like I don't really want to eat on a call I just feel a bit like I feel a bit rude. I don't know <laughs> and I also don't like eating in front of people So yeah, I'm gonna go make lunch now, but I thought I would end the vlog here I hope you guys enjoy just like coming along with me to my leg training I hope you guys enjoyed all the food through the lens here I would love to take you guys with me next time Prep honestly is going pretty well so far. I mean like I am still pretty much 15 weeks out So it hasn't exactly gotten a point where I am like dying. So that's completely fine Cardio still just kills my cause but other than that like I am pretty freaking happy. Um, I think I guess having gone through prep I kind of know what to expect so that in my mind has like you know helped me immensely because um, I know that probably in five weeks time when I hit the 10 weeks out mark that's when it will slowly kind of be like uh, it gets a bit tougher then but um yeah other than that hope you guys enjoyed this vlog thank you guys so much for coming along I really really do appreciate it have an amazing rest of your night or day wherever you are in the world and I will see you guys in the next episode bye